What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards Across, back with another video. And here we are in the bathroom once again. And in this video, guys, we're gonna be doing a cleanup trim. So I wanna use the new Brio Zero Gap. I haven't tried these yet. I've used them on my head, but I wanna try them on my beard. So these get very close. And the reason I wanted to get the Zero Gap blade is because with the blade that comes with this trimmer here, guys, when you cut your beard, you actually feel like you're having to push like actually push your hairs back like that. And so for me personally, when I when I cut my beard, I don't really want to push it at all. I just want to kind of let the clippers just literally just start clipping off them hairs. And I don't want to push them at all because I don't want to unstall my beard. I just want to nib them. So I want to see if these uh, this blade here does any better. And I know it should because it's a zero gap. So it should just clip straight through them. So if any of you guys have the regular blade and you feel like you're having to push your beard all out of style um, while you're trimming, it's probably because of that blade. So I want to see if this does any better. But nonetheless, guys, my beard just feels like it hasn't been growing. And I'm getting some knots and stuff like that underneath. And I want to just even it out. I'm pretty sure this side is a little bit longer than this side. If I was to actually style it right now, you'd see. But I want to take some of that off and just see if I can get some growth back out of it. Because, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I've been trimming my beard a lot here lately. And that's not the reason I haven't been getting any growth. It's just because I've been cutting off little... Uh, split ends here and there and it's because these like this it just hang down uh, you know I'll nib those off and they're really driving crazy so they're probably real uneven at this point so we're just going to get in here straighten this out and um, try to just get a nice even cut out of it, everything and basically restart that growth and see if I can get a little bit more length out of it and then if it doesn't grow any more than the next few months then my beard has probably reached its terminal length and this is where it wants to stay. So this is what we're going to do right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it like I always do. Those of you that watch the videos know that I always uh, straighten my beard because that's the way I wear my beard. So I'm going to straighten it out. You really don't want to cut your beard in this state. Um, I don't anyways because this ain't how I wear my beard. It looks pretty straight, but it's not actually how I would wear it. It's a little bit bust up. So I need to actually straighten it out right now and then go ahead and cut it from there. So this is what we're going to do. So I actually styled my beard from underneath like that because the hairs in the back, um, they tend to want to go up. And when if you just if you just don't if you just style the outside and don't mess with the ones in the back, then they're going to curl up and you're not even going to really clip them at all. You know you're going to just basically just hit the fronts, and that's not what I'm trying to do. I want to make sure I get the back because some of these hairs in the back are a lot longer than the actual front. So I want to try to get them the same length, and if not, maybe the back even up just a little bit higher than the front for the way and shape that I like to wear my beard. So I always get one of these and I, I'll tell you why after I get this pulled up. So I like to grab the very front right here. Like I always do in my videos, I try to grab the front and separate just a chunk of this. I try to get it as straight as I can, uh, which ain't very easy, but I try to just pull some of this right here, separate from this back here. Um, it ain't gotta be perfect. I just like to get some of it out of the way. And the reason I do that is so I can actually get to the back back here and get a nice good cut on it and I can see it all, you know? Because when you got this little bitty bit right here in the way, you might not get this as straight as you want. So I like to get this out of the way. That way I just got a little thinner layer back here that I can mess with, right? So now what I'll do is I'll straighten this out just a little bit more and uh, then I'll go ahead and start trimming. See that? You can see the unevenness. This side over here for some reason is a lot... Um, it's just a lot curlier. It's more coarse over here, and these hairs don't like to come down. You probably see that in the camera. The comb's actually catching right here a lot. 
Um, so the Kent comb don't like to go through this side of my beard as easy as it does this side over here. And that's okay. Um, and some of that's probably has to do with some split ends and some knots. See like right there, I got a couple little, I'm snagging right there. You see that? That's what I want to get rid of. So if any of you guys are trying to comb through your beard and it doesn't want to budge, your comb don't want to budge, it's probably because you got either a really coarse beard or like right there, you have just a knot. Um, and it needs to be cut out. So that's exactly what I'm doing right here is just getting rid of any of those knots. All right. So I'm going to have to look over here too, guys. So I don't mess my beard up. I'm trying to get me a nice, um, even comb, get it nice and evenly combed out here. And I'm going to come through and cut this. All right. Mm, see, it really gets tangled over here. Now, I try not to pull the hairs out. You know, I'm going to get a couple that's going to want to pull out, but that's all right. I need to get this combed out good and uh, tack these hairs that's got knots in them, right? And how I'm going to do this is by cutting off just about probably half an inch of the bottom. You know, that's usually where the knots are, I mean, my beard at least. You need about a half an inch up. So, to an inch at the max, I really don't want to cut an inch off of it, but I may. It just depends on what goes on right here. All right, so this is what we got. I got nice even coverage over here. Even I got a little bit more length back here than I actually want. So I'll take some of this off from here to probably about right there, you know, that little bit. But if you look on this other opposite side over here, I don't have quite that length. You see how much more it hangs down here? And this is up here. So I'm going to try to, it's like this. And you can't see it, but I'm going to try to even this out, all right? That's what I'm going to try to do. And try to keep the same shape as much as possible. I might unround it just a little bit, but that's just part of the trimming. But this side is definitely longer than this side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try to hold my shirt up. This side is definitely longer, so I'm going to try to even it out right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side, since I don't need to take much off here, and I'm just going to go up like this, all right? Like I said, we're not taking much off. This is always mind wrecking, guys. I literally got my other hand over here like it's held up halfway because I'm like freaking out about it. But it gets kind of mind wrecking to trim your beard when you really don't want to trim it. But you can see I'm just literally trimming off just a little bit just to get rid of those, those split ends or anything I got up there that I don't want. And these, this blade does cut easier. You're not having to push as hard. So it basically, uh, you got to nib it a little bit, but it, the other blade that you had to pretty much push on your beard, I didn't like that. So let's finish this up. I want to comb through it a little bit just so I can see. And man, the way, if you guys haven't cut your beard in a long time, the way that a comb glides through your beard so much easier after you trim it versus before is just amazing, man. This comb wouldn't even go through my beard earlier, and I'd just glide straight through there. The little bit of split ends that were there, man, that's all it takes for a comb to start snagging. I'm just doing this trying to make sure that I got, you know, some of them, uh, there's still a few scragglers through there, so I'm going to get those. Some of them a little bit longer hairs. I want to make sure I got them all. The hairs in the very back from my neckline, man, they're getting long and sometimes they'll hang way out. Um, so I can grab them and probably pull them out longer than this. I'm trying not to mess with those a whole lot, but I do want to get a nice um, even cut here. So sorry if this video is taking a little bit of time, but that's what this is all about, you know? Trying to show you guys how I do it. These clippers here actually go through my beard a lot easier than any other clippers I got. So I almost want to use these because I don't have to push them as much. They just glide through there. If you can see that, you can see it just literally just taking the hair straight off. 
I don't have to push at all. I literally just have to touch these up against the hairs and that hair is gone. Versus a bigger clipper, you have to actually push them a little bit. And that's what, that's what drives me crazy. I don't want to do that. I just want to glide through it. I just want to, I don't want to mess any of this up. I just want to cut through it real simply, you know? I mean, I did, I did just style it. So I don't want to unstyle it by, you know, using a clipper. I just want to keep it nice uniform shape so I can get my cut that I want and be done. Now this side, I am having to go up a little bit higher because if you see over here, this side is a lot higher, especially in the back versus here. This is almost touching, well, if I brush it down, it is touching my shoulder. This is a lot higher up over here. So I'm trying to match these sides as much as possible. And it's hard because, you know, the more you move, the more your beard is not, it's not in the same spot anymore. So this backside for me is hard, especially when your beard is a little bit longer like this. It's hard to get that nice cut because the more you move, the more you just mess it up. I'm going slow, guys, because this is what you should do. You should always go real slow when you're cutting your beard. Don't get crazy because that's how you mess up and cut too much off. So, got a little tangle right there. You see that? That's what we're trying to get rid of. We don't want that. I don't want that anyway. And sometimes, guys, when I'm doing this, I actually have to pull out my scissors and cut with my scissors instead of the clippers because that's just to where it gets. But this side is still a little bit longer than this side. I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, but I can see it plain as day. So I'm gonna pull out my clippers and get uh, my scissors and get that a shot, just so I can try not to move my head as much. Like I said, you ain't gotta take a whole lot off, just enough to get rid of those those ends that are that are. Uh, snagging and bothering you you know that's what i'm trying to get rid of and trying to even this out and if you notice i always kind of cut up because that's just the way my beard that's how my beard is it kind of just angles down that's the way i like it I, for some reason i haven't never really grew this out as long as this and these this back part for me don't want to grow as long as this really and it may be because I cut it, but it just seems to me like it doesn't ever want to grow this long. So I probably have to actually cut the front and let this catch up with it. But I like it kind of that angle like that helps keep it up on my shoulder just a little bit. So there's going to come a point where you have to just stop cutting and, uh, and be happy with it. So... I'm almost at that point. I'm just trying to make sure that both sides <clears throat> have about the same length, all right? Let's see what we got. It's going to look a little different from what you're seeing versus what I'm seeing because I'm not combing through it. I'm not styling it perfect. I'm literally just cutting and it keeps moving. The more... The more you cut, the more your beard moves, the more it looks uneven. So you got to be real careful when you're cutting your beard, right? But the comb goes through way easier. That's what I like, man. I cannot stand for my beard to feel like it's being tortured. Uh, even though I don't use a comb as much as I used to, I'm doing it basically for the sake of this video. But I still like it to go through there easily. Not having trouble. And uh, yeah, I'm almost done with this here. So, I think that's about what I like to see. <laughs> so, you got to find, let me get this on my shirt, all these hairs. You get to find a happy spot and just stop. Find something that you're comfortable with and just stop cutting 
Because like me, I got OCD, so I'm going to sit here. I'm going to trim this little hair right here. I'm going to sit here and nib and nib and nib until it looks perfect. But by the time you did that, by the time you finish all that nibbing, you have messed your beard up. So find a nice, comfortable spot to stop. Now, this is a lot more, to me, it looks a lot more straighter. Um, this side's more like the length of this side. It looks better. This side may still be just a hair longer. It's really hard to tell uh, when you're nitpicking your beard which side is longer, which side is, um, or if it's the same, you know. So to me, it looks about the same. This side may be just a little bit longer, and I'll know within a month or so this side will be back down here touching away for this side. But I think I'm happy with that for right now. And like I said, the comb glides through a lot easier through all these hairs. That's what I want. I don't want to be sitting there constantly pulling my hairs out. And um, it just makes for a better beard experience. So now is what I'll do is pull this front out. I'll straighten this out. And then I'll go ahead and start uh, shaping this part with this part, right? Here we go. So. So with my blow dryer, I have a cool setting on there, so I'll put so much heat just to straighten it, and then I'll kind of cool it down because you'll sit there and irritate the skin up under here and blow dry your beard too much. But I try not to. But when I'm when I'm cutting my beard, and it just you know keep styling, keep styling, it just happens to you happen and tend to start blow drying it too much if you had to cut like I do. So here, what I'm gonna do? Same thing. I'm gonna go over it, try to nip some of this front out. Now I can see a lot more, uh, I can see better to where I need to go up. Cause I, you probably can't see it, but I can in the mirror, I can kind of see where the back side is. So I'm gonna try to reach that. See how much more nice and even that looks? Scraggly. Nice and even, scraggly. I try not to cut my beard where it looks like I just went <clears throat> and cut it just straight across. I, when you first trim your beard, guys, it's hard because it gives you that, that weird look to where it doesn't look natural. So it looks too straight. And uh, although, you know, my beard, no matter what, once it, once this heat and I start moving around, it'll go back to its natural state. The video is going to look probably a little too straight, but I try not to cut to where it looks super, super straight. Uh, but I do want to get rid of these flyaways over here. You see how much nicer this side looks? I'm not even done with it versus that side. I swear the older I get, the worse my eyesight gets. So when you get over here to the side and try to trim it, man, it just starts getting hard because my eyes start seeing like almost blurred vision once I get, once I start doing this and crossing back to see this, and it makes it hard for me to trim this, especially when I'm looking here, there, and I got my hand on this, so I'll try not to mess up and be real careful. So let me go back through this with some cold air, brush it back down, see what I got. Now, as you can see, I missed a bunch there. I'm gonna nib those off, and then after that, I'm probably gonna leave it alone. Sometimes you kinda of have to just rub your fingers through there like that and pull it down a little bit just to get it set back to where you can see those ones that are strays and hanging around, or hanging down lower. That's what, that's what I'm doing. And don't be afraid to take it sideways like that and kind of go up. You know, if you can't see real good if you're doing this, take it sideways like that and just kind of follow that line.
Let me see what we got. Let's see what we got. I like to get all those hairs from the back of my thumbs and pull them out so I can see what's going on. All right. I'm going to comb through one more time with the blow dryer. kind of styling with my hands guys trying to see what's going on that's all i'm doing this is about how i wear my beard so this is where i have to really pay attention if it's like i want or not you're gonna get little stragglers uh little stragglers flying away here and there so be real careful pay attention to those don't overcut your beard man some at some point you have to just stop and leave it alone but right now i'm just trying to make sure this is nice and straight that's all i'm doing I got a little bit more over here. I got a couple of jagged areas. A little bit I need to take off here, and that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'll probably be done right there. comb goes through here so much easier now so much easier all right let's see let's see brush my hands through it this is like another beard tool for me this is like the last beard tool i use after i cut or sorry not after i cut after i style my beard i use my hands a lot to get the shape I want, kind of like that. This is what I do. So, looks pretty good to me. I got a couple little spots, and that's where I'm gonna take my scissors and finish that up. There's one here, and a couple little flyaways over here. And a lot of times, what this is from is these longer hairs in the front overhanging. As you as you style, they start overhanging the rest of it. Or at least that's what mine does. These hairs are pretty long, you know, like the longest ones on my face, so. All right. So, let's see here. With no beard products, that's what my beard looks like, and I know it might look like it's uneven or something, guys. I got no products in my beard, so um, nothing's holding it right now besides me just keep moving my fingers through there. But that would be my nice little cleanup, health trim, whatever you want to call it. That's what I like to do after I get so long without trimming because these hairs, you guys seen in the beginning of the video, the comb is constantly snagging hairs and wanting to rip them out. Probably because of the dead ends, like I said, the knots at the bottom. I'm, I'm hoping that's what's stunting the growth of my beard is that it's just steadily damaging my beard from the you know combing through it it's pulling hairs out and all that so i'm cleaning up a little bit see if it you know if it wants to grow any longer from where it's at now and uh if it doesn't then like i said my beard's reached a terminal uh it's terminal length and i'm fine with that i'll leave it there but um that's how i would trim my beard for a nice health cleanup guys uh nothing big just a nicer you can see how small the hairs are on my chest but to me it's a lot more it's a lot more cleaner it's just a little bit it's a lot more cleaner it feels better the comb runs through it better and that's what it's all about not waking up on a daily basis fighting your beard and literally wanting to just cut it off and torture it off although that's a whole different subject i actually thought about cutting off my beard for the fun of it and regrowing it but for anybody that is still here at 28 minutes in um, I'll try to edit the video down and make some of it so it might end up a little shorter time lapse some of it make it a little faster but for anybody that's still here God bless you guys I love you everybody watch this channel and I'll see y'all in the next one